The Blue Jackets with their first matchup of the year with the Tampa Bay Lightning here tonight. And the Blue Jackets come into this game after a practice yesterday. And Jody, practice is something this team hasn't had a lot of in the last two and a half to three weeks. No, you're right. It's been a pretty busy schedule. And the Blue Jackets are happy to be home and happy to have time to practice with each other and kind of get back to doing things, their systems, and working hard together. And it also gave Brandon Dubinsky one final tune-up before returning to the lineup here tonight. Here's what Brandon says he's ready to bring to the table. I mean, uh, you can't, uh, you know, come in and, and just try and dip your feet in the water and, and see what it's like. you got to, you know, jump in and, and, and get back to your game and, and, like I said, try and help this team find, find some points. Brandon Dubinsky has been one of the leaders on the ice this year with his tenacity. Jody, what does it mean to have him back tonight? It's huge. Brandon has the work ethic. He plays hard every shift. He's been a real guy to follow this, this year on the, on the ice. And so with him out, guys have had to step up. But now with him back, they'll be excited tonight to have him on the ice. Hey, speaking of guys that are out for the Tampa Bay Lightning, no Steven Stamkos. He's out with a broken leg. But there are guys that have stepped up in his spot. One guy they still do have, though, is Martin St. Louis. This guy is always dangerous. Also, Valtteri Filppula came over from Detroit during the offseason as a free agent, and Teddy Purcell has put up points. So those are three guys you have to watch. Oh, yeah. You start with Marty St. Louis. He's a veteran player. We all know he's not a very big guy, but what he's done in this league has been amazing. And to have him on their team, he's the captain of the team, he's the leader of the team, and his work, the way he works, is huge for these guys. Teddy Purcell is a skilled guy who's really grown up the last few years, found his way, and can put points on the board. And then what, can you, what else can you say? Valtteri Fupola comes in from Detroit. He's a highly skilled Finnish player, and he can put the puck in the net. So, pretty, so they're a pretty deep organization, and to have those guys out there still is good for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And they're even deep when it comes to the youth. In the last two years in the American Hockey League, the Tampa Bay Lightning organization has won a championship and has finished runner-up. And there are some players from those teams that are now playing here for the NHL club. Andre Palat, Richard Ponick, Tyler Johnson, these guys have played together for two straight years as a line in the American Hockey League. Now they're playing together in the NHL. Dalton Prout is one of the players that went up against these guys last year in the American Hockey League playoffs. Uh, well, they're definitely standouts in the American League. Um, they're smart players that uh, play a two-way game. Um, they're obviously here for a reason. Um, you know what? And you know what? Winning um, is good at any level to have in the system. And I think once you learn to you learn to win no matter what level it's at, it's going to carry over. So um, I think those guys are going to help uh, that organization tremendously. Well, being that this is the first matchup of the year between these two teams, Jody, what's it like to play a team for the first time, not really knowing all the personnel or the systems? Well, it's almost a clean slate. There's no expectations. There's nothing that they have to worry about as far as what they've focused on. They're focused on their own group. The Columbus Blue Jackets are at that stage. They have to think about that. So that's where they're at with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I have a question for you. Are you happy that Movember is over? I am so happy. <laughs> I feel like I went from the 1970s back to the 21st century is how I feel. Nice to have you back. Do You're I look that sharp? way? Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. All right, that'll do it for tonight's Time Warner Rig Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.